Hello people in this video <clears throat> let us look at leflunomide correct leflunomide so leflunomide is a anti rheumatoid drug correct we have already seen what rheumatoid arthritis is we have seen the classification of anti rheumatoid drugs in that in the disease modifying anti rheumatoid drugs under that non biological agents and under that immunosuppressants other immunomodulator it's an immunomodulator it's an immune modulator it is not a immune suppressant it's an immune modulator we have this uh, sulfur salazine and then chloroquine and this leflunomide okay so what exactly about leflunomide we should know this leflunomide so what you have seen so far anti rheumatoid drug so disease modifying anti rheumatoid drug it is non biological agent it is uh, uh, immuno modulator so what it does is um, it is used to treat rheumatoid arthritis correct that much you have understood right it is used to treat rheumatoid arthritis which is autoimmune disease correct so it is an immuno modulator this one immune disease autoimmune disease so basically Uh, what this leflunomide does what this leflunomide does look at it here it inhibits the proliferation of the stimulated lymphocytes so it inhibits the proliferation of stimulated lymphocytes something to do with lymphocyte here so basically it also uh, decreases the antibody production by b cells so humoral immunity is low here below because stimulated lymphocytes will be inhibited the proliferation will be inhibited so how it works it inhibits the dihydroorate dehydrogenase and pyrimidine synthesis actually this is something to do with pyrimidine synthesis till now whatever we saw were purine synthesis if you remember methotrexate and azathioprine all of them were pyrimidine sorry purine inhibitors these are all pyrimidine synthesis inhibitors leflunomide is acting on the pyrimidines something to do with the pyrimidines so basically what else you should know here we are not going into very detail about leflunomide um it is given like this orally only so adverse effects will have all the diarrhea nausea all that because of gi right gi side effects okay so other than this leflunomide you can use methotrexate azathioprine etc Okay guys so let us um, meet in the next video bye bye just one thing you note here this dmard are also called as saard because uh, they are very slow acting so because they takes like 4 weeks it seems 4 weeks to write uh, just to give some impact bro so they are kind of act called as slow acting just all of them are slow acting only methotrexate azathioprine all of these are slow acting only okay so we'll meet you in the next video okay say bye